This is like my fourth retake and I still can't. Oh, I'm so nervous. Anyway, hello. I'll just be showing you a few tips on CSP that I think might be useful for line artists. First off, there's two types of layers, the raster layer and the vector layer. You want to do your line art on the vector layer and I'll show you later why. Alright, so I already have something sketched down. I'm just going to be speed uh, arting through this line art process because it's pretty shit. I'm not actually a line artist. I'm just a humble painter. <laughs> I'm just making this tutorial because I'm an advocate of CSP. Anyway, now that we have our finished line art, come up to this box thing with a cursor on it. And from here, you can do a bunch of cool stuff like change the color of the line art without even having to like make a clipping mask layer above it another thing you can do is if you're like me and you like to draw thick lines but then decide later on that maybe you want smaller lines you can change the width of the whole line art or you could change them individually like here so instead of changing the whole thing or like you changed it and it's like too thin you can edit it like so make it thicker or thinner and this is the beauty of the vector layer because you won't be able to do this with a raster layer Another cool thing you can do is actually change the lines individually. You can see that there are control points and you could just move them around however you want. You can also redraw the thickness of the lines. Just play around, there's a bunch of things that you could do there. Another tip is if you want to transform one of the lines that you've drawn, like what I'm doing on the screen right now, is hold a hotkey. I am on a Mac, so I hold the command key. I don't know what it is for a PC. Maybe the control? I don't know. Here's me switching before and after. The thicker one is obviously before. One last tip I want to share in this video is if we go back to the box with a cursor on it, down at the bottom you can actually change the brush shape that you use to draw. So let's say you drew with a pencil and you changed your mind, boom, pen lines, quick and easy, don't even have to redraw. One thing I realized though is that you can only do this with select brushes like the pens, pencils, airbrush, and any customized brushes using those as base but not anything like watercolors or oil brushes. I guess it's because they're not optimized for vectors, but other than that, it's a pretty useful tool. Alright, so those were just a few things I wanted to show you. I hope you found this uh, helpful. I've got a lot more I want to share, but I don't want to be too overwhelming.